What's going on guys? We're out here today and today we are in fact at the creek. Uh, I don't think I've made a creek fishing video in a while so we're actually going to be doing that today and I've actually heard from my friend who lives down the road that there's been a lot of bullheads and just catfish in general being caught in the creek recently so we are going to hop on these fish and we're going to see if we can catch any today. I don't particularly think I'm going to go after bullheads but we will try. I brought some old rotten ham that I've been using for turtle trapping. I actually used it for turtle trapping back in July when I did videos about it. So it's it's pretty old, but we're going to use it because catfish like smelly stuff. And guys, I actually, I got this really cool thing at Walmart. And, uh, well, it's pretty neat. You can put fish in it, and it also doubles as a seat. It, it, was, it was $2, guys, like $2. It's You can put fish in it. You know, the lid, it was an extra dollar. So, I mean, if you want to use it as a seat, you got to pay the extra dollar. But... You know, I think I think it's worth it. You know, three dollars. It's, it's a little up there, but man, it it helps out a lot. You can also store camera gear in them, so that's a plus. And I know you're you're probably thinking that's just a five gallon bucket, and yeah, that you're, you're actually very correct. But if you use your redneck ginger unity, that's how you turn it into a bucket. I mean, you you, you know, let's go ahead. Whoa, there's a lot of crawdads down here. Dead. Oh, this is... Ah, oh, this feels weird. I'm like sinking in this. That is crazy. I don't know what in the world it is, but... Alright, we got some heavy winds, so I'm actually going to try some topwater hits. It's, it's a juicy looking day for topwater, let me tell you. I'm mean, getting into this fall bite weather. There's some chasing it. Alright, I think it just... Yeah, we just had a shiner, tangler line. Never mind, we're good. Come on, bite it. You got this, fishy. What? There's one over there popping on leaves. Like, bro, there's a fish right there. At least that's what I want you to think. Yeet! Whoa, okay. That, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a massive tangle, y'all. All right, we got it. Whoops. Oh, there we go. Something should hit it right there. That's where that one was popping out here a second ago. Oh man, there's a shiner. There's a deer track. Yeah. All right, they're biting this, but they're not going hard. So I'm thinking it's something a little bit, you know, less aggressive. We need a lot of presentation, I guess, is what I'm trying to say here. Is it getting ready to rain? There's a bunch of shiners biting, but they're just, you know, they're not, they're not giving it their all today. Whoa. All right, this ain't working, so I'm thinking maybe a worm. Pumpkin seed or blue and black. I think I'm going to try the blue and black first because the deep water actually does have a little bit of a tint to it. So we'll try this out first. All right. All right, let's see what we can do with this. Three, two, one, go. Okay, nope, nothing. Okay, we good. We didn't get one. That's actually not good, but, you know, it's not bad, I guess. All right, it is kind of bad. No, nothing. Oh, there's one. Got him. Yes. Yes. First cast, but not really. All right, it is a creek chuck. Whoa, listen. This little dude. Whoa, bro. Sorry. Sorry about that. He has a bunch of little parasites on him. I forgot what kind of parasite that is called, but it's like something to do with snails and birds. And it's just like a cycle that keeps going on, but we'll see you later, dude. Bruh. Is that a deer? Come here, deer. All right, did this get a bite? Nope, I didn't get a bite. Never mind. All right, either the line is slowly sinking or I have a fish. Okay, yeah, the line was slowly sinking good. What was that a fish? Is that a fish? You guys tell me, is that a fish? We about to get a good hook set right here, boys. There's one. Got him. <laughs> that, was a, that was actually very un, uncalled for hook set, but you know, it didn't hurt the fish. We good. Whoa. All right, see you later, uh, uh, Jimmy. I name a lot of stuff Jimmy, not gonna lie. Oh, I thought I just had a fish on. That was a leaf. Okay. 
not the uh, bounty we were looking for, but it's honestly bigger than what we've been catching today, so. Bruh. All right, we got us another leaf. Oh, wow, okay, this is just a, a little bony leaf. It's just the skin of the leaf, skin and bones, except no skin, just bones. Was that a fish? I don't know. I don't know. Bruh. That was like a most horriblest cast ever. Come on, where you at, fish? Where you at? I want me some Wendy's right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and try that green out that we threw back and uh, see if that does any better. Bruh, that wind is picking up fast. Like, I don't know if you can see, guys, but them clouds, they are shifting that way about race car speed. I don't know what that is. It's probably about 150 mile an hour. What is the plural of a yeet? Baby sharks eat their siblings, so. Okay. This is like some kind of old ham that I have had for more than two months now. This time we actually do have more of an advantage because it is in fact natural bait. Natural baits tend to work a little bit better for fishing, make it a little easier, but you know. There it goes, there we go, there we go. Has he still got it? There he goes, oh man, I lost him. That was a good fish. There's one. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got him. Oh, yes. Yes. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay, I thought that was actually a lot bigger than it was. See you later. Well, okay. Don't even let me tell you goodbye. I'm going to try to step on you then. Just, you know, give my my battle cry. I had no idea I had him. I just started pulling up. I was going to recast. That's a nice size one. I think it's the biggest one we caught today. Yep. Yeah, see you later. Uh, um, good luck to uh, whatever you may be trying to do at this time. See you later. Peace. All right, guys. Uh, my camera just shut off for some reason. I don't know why. I probably actually touched the you know the button. But anyway, um, yeah, I actually just caught a fish by snagging it. It was a minner. I like snagged it right in the side of it. It looked pretty crazy actually. But, I turned it back loose so you guys don't get to see it, sadly. But anyway, let's go ahead and get back to fishing. Can't sit around crying about it. I ain't going to bring my footage back. All right, I don't know. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got one. Well, that was just like that other one. I just lifted it up. I guess they're not biting hard today or something. Oh, this is a shiner. Oh, I haven't caught one of these in a while. I haven't cooked one of these ever. Catching cook time. All right, let's see if we can catch some more of anything, really. There's one. Got him. Well, anyway, I think that's all that's in here, so we'll go ahead and let him sign you guys off, and we'll see you Somewhere else, probably. All right, so we put the shiner in my homemade live well, and we're gonna keep it there until it stops raining because it's actually getting ready to storm right now. So we can't cook outside during the storm, but I got it in the homemade live well, and we'll let it set until we're ready. I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, we're out here. It's about two days later now. I got the bucket with the fish in it. We have the stuff to cook it with and processing it. And we're up here at the chickens and boy do they have something to say. Okay, I guess they don't have something to say, but that's okay because they're chickens. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and switch you guys over and we're gonna go ahead, and go right over here and start building as a fire to cook the fish with. actually got some uh, gasoline lemon juice and well uh, this is actually lemon juice that's very flammable I guess now, I'm not gonna pour a lot because this is uh, straight lemon juice if you know what I mean so I'm just gonna pour a little bit there we go all 
right, you probably can't see it, but here is the fish. Um, yeah, there he is. Get our uh, fish board out here. But anyway, these are actually basically just like shad. And uh, if you don't know what a shad is, I'll insert a picture there for you. So they're basically just a bait fish that uh, lives in lakes. And uh, a lot of other fish feed on them. These, however, I'm pretty sure only live in rivers and streams. I caught mine out of a creek, which is, if you don't know, a stream. Typically, you wouldn't eat shad because they're like bait fish. So a lot of people, I don't think, eat these, but we're going to try it out today. And if you don't know, the method I just used to uh, do this is actually a, uh, I'm gutting it instead of filleting it like you would a bigger fish, like salmon, catfish, stuff like that. Because where it's a smaller fish, you just, you know, you get more meat this way. And I honestly think this is my first time eating these. Pretty sure. All right, guys, I think we're ready to go. We'll go ahead and get this over to the pan and season it up. Cleaned it off and we are ready to put it in the pan. I'm actually gonna do this like I do a lot of fish whenever I uh, bake them over a fire. And that is to bake it with lemon pepper and butter. Get some of that in there, spread it around the pan. And that should be good. We'll go ahead and flip it over and do the other side the same, and she'll be ready to bake. All right, I'm actually going to go ahead and use this to cover it up with so it don't get ashes and smoke in it. Now let's head on over to the fire. Oh, would you look at that? There's already a grill set up. I wonder who did that. It was me. Shh. That looks about as good as we're going to get. So yeah, we'll just leave it there. And I'm actually going to go ahead and put a little bit more firewood on it. So hopefully it'll uh, keep it nice and warm. Not that the fire was going to cool down anytime soon. And we'll be back when it's halfway finished. Almost, we'll be back. You'll see it later. Ooh, what's that? All right, guys, it's actually getting a little bit dark, so we're gonna go ahead and check this and see if it's done, and if so, we'll go ahead and eat it. All right, let's go ahead and check this. Oh yeah, she's finished. Let's take it over here and uh, let it cool. All right, we'll set it right there. And uh, we'll let that cool down, and then we'll eat it. I don't know why I looked over there, but anyway, we'll see you then. All right, it's getting dark, so I'm gonna try to do this pretty fast. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, get this fish out of here, put it over into my bowl. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm gonna do. All right, that's not hot, so we're gonna pour some of that nice butter sauce all over it. And yeah, we are ready to eat it. Anyway, let's go ahead and try out this fish. And uh, let me see, yeah, I can just eat it with my hand. Anyway, let's go ahead and try it out. Never ate one of these before. Here it goes, the Shiner Fish Catching Cook. Basically, a shad catching cook, but... Not. Mmm. It's bony, just like a shad is. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Yeah, the actual meat is really good, but the fish is extremely bony. I don't think I would actually eat this unless I had to. Because, I mean, the taste is, it's actually a really good taste to it. It's comparable to, like, a bluegill or something. But the problem is the bones. There's not a lot of meat for the bones that you have to go through. So, I'm going to finish eating it, but... I probably will not eat one of these unless it's like, you know, a survival challenge or something. Anyway, guys, uh, you probably can't see me now because it is almost dark. And uh, the sun is technically, I guess, already set. But besides the point, um, yeah, those I think those are called the Y-bones. I know that's what they are in like a uh, sucker fish because I've done a catch and cook on those before. And uh, you can fry those out of that. So maybe frying it next time might be a better 
choice for us. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know with a like or comment and subscribing. Go ahead, check me out down below on my social medias. Click on uh, one of the videos to watch a video and click on the other video to watch a different video. Unless they're the same. Sometimes that happens. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time.